Hi everyone, welcome back to Vedic Life Coaching. Thank you so much for joining me and welcome to another Pick a Card reading. Today we're working with Saturnian energy. So you can see I'm using this black and gold deck, which I count to be my Saturn deck. What I did was I took that deck and I just drew one card, one card, one card, next card, next card, next card. I did that five times and then I chose one card from the happy tarot so you'll see happy tarot this I kind of count as my sun deck sort of because um, it's happy right it's a happy tarot so we've got one sun and lots of Saturn here so let's see what we're going to uncover we're going to be looking at structure but we are going to be looking and I've also got this deck here as well because I want there to be some color on the table too so this can be we can count this as the sun as well I want color I want vibrancy as well and I have no idea what I'm going to draw through for each group uh, in terms of that deck so let's see what comes but I wanted to check in with structure with your life with time procrastination how are we doing delays blockages all that kind of thing let's check all of that out let's see how it's going the other thing i want to draw your attention to is the fact that yes i'm outdoors which i'm very happy about i haven't been able to come outdoors for about two weeks because it's been rainy and cloudy and miserable cold 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 weather i've got my very warm jacket on so i'm fine but um there is a um baby a couple of doors down who's screaming and rather upset so you might hear that occasionally during the reading uh, I was waiting patiently for a little while and then it was just like it became clear to me that I, I don't think the crying is going to stop so I'm not going to incorporate that sound into the reading don't worry um, that's not an omen for anybody uh, you know today we are really just going to see see what we have here the spreads are all pretty good I had a quick look just before uh, I started filming so why don't we get started so choose from between group one group two group three you can also choose from rose quartz black obsidian or tourmalinated quartz and I'll see you in your reading hi there group one if you chose group number one or perhaps you chose the rose quartz maybe you chose by number maybe you chose by object well, you are absolutely in the right place. So let's take a look at your cards and see what you've drawn through. Now, as with any of my readings, please take on board what resonates and please discard what doesn't because these are general readings for lots of people. So we start with the Emperor Upright. Wow, what a start. Okay, so we've got some big energy right there. <laughs> we've got the Two of Wands upright beautiful I've never done a spread with this many cards from Saturn how amazing five of Pentacles in reverse okay we've got the three of wands amazing we've got the two of wands we've got the three of wands so wow that's quite incredible we've got oh good the nine of swords in reverse I'm saying oh good to it being in reverse that's always a good thing not so good when it's in its upright position and okay we've got from the happy tarot we have got the ten of swords in reverse wow you've got the, that is amazing you've got the two and three of wands you've got the nine and ten of swords in reverse that is quite incredible so what I'm going to say here as a general note is I think some of you've been going through some big stuff uh, I think you've come to an end of a tough cycle definitely I think you are definitely coming to the end of, of something ma major because these are in the reverse position but you have been going through something this is also I'm going to count all of this together You've been experiencing some kind of lack or limitation. Maybe you've been feeling really limited, really stuck, that things aren't moving. You might have felt a lack of love, a lack of money, a lack of all kinds of things. Things might have been feeling really tight. And as this is a Saturn check-in, Saturn is, you know, the master of 
limitations, delays, lack feelings, tightness. You know, we can be bound, we can be stuck. So I think you've gone through something of this nature, but I think you're You've come to the end, or I'm very glad to tell you that this is going to end. Okay, this is not going to go on like this. It's absolutely not. You've manifested... Whoops, the camera was just about to drop over. Um, you've manifested really good cards here. And what you're being asked to do with these cards is you're being asked to plan what you want to have next. And I do get a sense that the universe is a little bit like tell me, tell me what it is that you want. I'm going to bring this to an end. I'm closing this cycle out for you. But what do you want? Because you're soon going to have a, a, a plane, a place where you need to color that in. You need to say, all right, well, I want this. I want that. What, what are the next things that you want? And if you can work that out in some fine detail, that would be a really good thing. And of course write that down for the next new moon um, write down some of the things that you want and then be sure to get rid of those pieces of paper you know we're always course correcting as we go along and I do get the sense that you're being given some breathing space to plan to dream big that's what these two cards are very much about here you're planning with the two of wands. With the three of wands, I'm pretty sure this is the one where the person is. So here he's got his hands on the world and he's dreaming. He's coming up with what it is that he wants next. Here I think is where you've sent your ships out to sail and you're waiting for things to come back in. So you are up for a period, an extended period of planning, strategizing, working out that next thing i do get a sense that saturn and the universe is kind of asking okay we, we're gonna close out some of this this has been difficult we know but what's next on the horizon for you tell you know the universe is like tell me tell me tell me tell me what it is you want the emperor i also get a sense that you're being asked to take charge uh, of your life again through this strategizing and planning function this is going to get you back into that emperor position this is what's going to get you back into feeling like you've got some control over your own life isn't that a great feeling to have and a rare one you know uh, and Saturn knows that all too well that that is the feeling you want and yet he has to do his job. He has to bring the limitations, the difficulties uh, in, say, for example, if there's karma to pay. I'm, I'm at this place in life now where I'm just like, okay, if I have to pay, then let me, let me pay now. You know? But what we're going to do is we're going to check with, the, with this deck. We're going to put some color here because we've got a lot of just black structure here. We've got a lot of, you know, Saturnian energy. I'm going to shuffle and we're going to bring some color onto this screen of ours and we're going to see what other guidance is needed so i'm going to take this card out i have no idea what it is let's see together okay you've got the eight of pentacles right i'm going to want another one that's in the reverse position i want more information <laughs> let's have a look okay this one really just popped out let's see what it is all right, the hanged man. Yep, I'm going to take one more. And let's see. I think you've been working really hard, guys. Okay, another one just absolutely leaping out. What have we got here? Wow, the nine of swords upright. Okay, this is, this is a tricky spread because this has come back in. And what I was saying, we wanted to close out. We're getting it come back. I think the remedy is going to be to be to, to be a bit still and to take a bit of time out. You're going to need just some time where you are still. I think you've been working really hard. And you do, you do want that emperor kind of feeling. You do want to be in charge of your life. You are working hard, but there's something in your space 
that's kind of it's creeping back in with this nine of swords i want to get a clarifier on that nine of swords let's ask what what do we need to do what's going to be the remedy for this nine of swords I'm looking for a remedy here wow look at that that's our answer guys you're going to be able, this is to do with your creativity. This is to do with blocked creativity, 100%. I have been working actually um, with a couple of clients about this very thing of blocked creativity. And when your creativity is blocked, as this is kind of indicating, it means that you're going to experience problems basically it's not going to be good for you and the remedy is to be creative the remedy is to be building your world the remedy is to be investing in you to withdraw take your energy back because I think you've been trying to run around please everybody else wow got a lot of birds chirping there yeah I definitely think you've been trying to look at that and it was a horde of birds i don't know if that's the right word horde of birds. a flock of birds the giant flock of birds and that was when i was talking about the fact that your energy is wearing thin i think you're kind of trying to please too many people whereas what you're being asked to do is to please yourself you've got to withdraw your energy back bring it look at that bring it back to you and it's it's creativity you being creative, you taking the time to be on your own for a bit. You are going to need to be on your own. I think you've been spreading your energy way too thin. You're going to need to strategize. You've got to strategize. What is it that you really want? You do have to tell the universe. The universe does want to know. And that's a part of free will. We do have to ask. This is something that I've often yeah dealt with in my mind where i think to myself oh but the universe should know what i want well the universe respects your free will more than anything else so you have to ask so you do need to strategize it's not like the universe is just i mean the universe does know what you want but you have to ask you have to use your free will and you have to ask write it down on paper write down what you your dreams are what you envisage what you want to create maybe you need to do a vision board or a cork board or get a whiteboard or bits of paper or you do what excites you and what gets you creative but definitely definitely writing down what it is you want in order to give you that feeling that you're back in charge you are going to need a little bit of time out a bit of stillness and you are going to need to get back into your creative self and being creative is the remedy to what you're going through right now that is big big message here and look at the smile on her face look at that she's doing it she's she's on it no question that is you embody that feeling feel it and yeah this has no business being in your life and this is I can see that it's weakening, okay? It's in its reverse position here. Even this is in its reverse position here, the Five of Pentacles. The Ten of Swords, far out. I mean, you have made a breakthrough on something, but it, it's, it's slightly crept back in, okay? It doesn't matter. It, it will do that. It's just mm, a bit of... Uh, I, I know I've been going through a healing program myself, and I still do get the occasional this, the occasional that. But what I'm noticing is that much, much, much faster, I'm just clearing it out, forgetting about it, moving on, letting it go. And that's where you are. You are, look at that, because immediately after this, you got this. And that is indicating to me that you're getting faster. You're getting so much faster at just moving out of uh, these energies, these, any of these problems. Guys, this has been a great reading. I'm, I'm super excited for what it is that you create here. I think you're going to be doing amazing, okay? Like it's, I know times aren't great right now and things are very challenging, but you got the Queen of Wands, which is quite frankly, I think one of my favorite cards in the whole deck. So group one, 
Thank you so much for tuning in and I look forward to seeing you next time. Hi there group number two. If you chose group number two then you are in the right place. You would have chosen either by the number two or by this beautiful... Oh wait. <laughs> Come on. This beautiful piece of volcanic glass. Which... Oh, there we go. Oh, look at that. Wow. Gosh, that looks good, doesn't it? Love these crystals. I could look at them all day. <laughs> All right, let's have a look and see what cards you drew through. Now, as with all of my readings, please take on board what resonates and please discard what doesn't. So you have got, wow, what a start, the tower. My goodness, you got the tower upright. I remember you group two. You've got an amazing spread. You got the king of swords upright. Now we are working with what I consider my Saturn deck and I've chosen five cards of Saturn and one card of the Happy Tarot and then we're going to shuffle live. I've got a deck here uh, and we're going to see what comes through. So we've got the Page of Pentacles upright. The Seven of Wands in reverse. We've got the moon upright. How beautiful. Wow. That's cool. I haven't seen the moon in this deck. It's lovely. And... Okay, we've got the six of swords upright. Nice. This is a really nice spread, guys. I like this spread. I like this spread because what I'm seeing here is that you have gone through a towel moment or you're about to go through one but whatever this towel moment is it's a good one okay this is a good shake up this is the kind of shake up you want because it's going to bring good things your way and it's going to take out certain things that have been possibly draining or difficult i think you've been dealing with some difficult people i think maybe you've been having to defend yourself maybe there have been people coming at you people jealous of you people just chipping away you know they see that you're happy and they don't like that and they try to bring you down type thing this seven of wands could be numerous things but it's it's i guess i could say incompatible people people who are incompatible to you trying to bring you down trying to knock you off course but i feel like there's a towel moment that's going to bring some conclusion to this or perhaps an end to a cycle there's going to be there's going to be a shake up of some kind and it's I, I do sense it's a good one this is not a bad towel moment there can be bad towel moments uh, i know a friend who yeah he um gosh he had a really difficult one he was in quite a bad motorcycle accident and that the morning before he uh, when on the motorbike he, he drew the tower card the one and only card he saw was the tower um, so that was obviously a bad uh, tower moment but it's very possible to have tower moments in our favour and that is what I'm seeing here for you because I feel like something is going to come to a head come to an end and you're going to come out just fine because you're this, you're the king of swords in this instance. Nobody can pull the wool over your eyes. Okay, that's the other thing. We've got the moon here, but the moon has come out of what I consider to be a Saturn deck. Now, what is Saturn and the moon? One of the ways I read that is that you have a natural BS detector. So you've got the king of swords and you've got this kind of moon, but it's a sort of Saturn moon. Let's say it's Saturn aspect on moon or Saturn conjunct moon or something along those lines. I don't think anyone's going to be pulling the wool over your eyes uh, anytime soon, if not ever, okay? I think you are, you're sharp, you're intelligent, you know what's what. You can see, this is also the card of a subconscious mind. And I get a sense that you understand 
how the subconscious mind works of other people around you. And I think that's why you haven't been too phased by this. I think you know that this is going on around you, that there are people who, quite frankly, they're not up to scratch. Look at that. I noticed a scratch here. Yeah. Wow. I don't know if you can see that. Hang on. It's not focusing. Well, there is a scratch there. And th that, that's true. There are people around you who have not been up to scratch. You see through those people, though, I think. And I think that... I think that you're going to be fine. Because you know how to just move on okay this is a card of moving on moving into calmer waters and yes she's got her swords with her it kind of seems like she's taking the baggage with her but it's not really i'm sure i've seen depictions of this where the baggage is is on land or something they leave it behind you're moving into calmer waters that is for sure 100 percent you're definitely moving into calmer waters and I think you're going to be able to build build yourself up in new ways with this card I instantly thought of new income streams new projects new ways of earning you're going to be able to build up and I always think that no matter what age we are at life it's always exciting to build something up from zero it's always exciting to build something up from the the ground up you know and I, I i definitely think that's exciting i'll give you a small example the other day there was this like application online and it was something about um share trading and i thought oh why don't i try because the ad said that you know you can start investing from as little as two pounds i was like oh cool that's something i could actually possibly do so for the first time in my life i yeah i you know, well, I haven't traded the share yet. I will. They gave me a free one, so I have like a free share in something. But I mean, it doesn't matter what age you're at. It's always exciting to build something up from zero, isn't it? To, to go from nothing and to build it up from the ground. I always think that's so exciting. So whatever it is, maybe, I mean, maybe you're starting a savings account or something like that. Or yeah, or trading a share. Maybe you find that. The app I got, I'll tell you guys what it was. I'm going to shuffle some cards. It was some um, free trade. And I was like, oh, wow. And yeah, I thought I'd try it and, you know, see what that's all about. So anyway. Right. So, okay. This one wants to come out as well. Okay. So I'm going to take that one, but I'm going to take this first. I'm going to shuffle and we're going to see what else is going on. Okay, so Six of Cups in reverse. All right. Let's keep going. That is not the end to this story. Okay, King of Swords in reverse. Interesting. That is... Wow, we just had that in Group 1. I had like uh, Nine of Swords in reverse and Nine of Swords upright. And now you've got King of Swords in upright and... King of Swords in reverse. Get out. That's crazy. Okay, that's amazing. Wow. God, we got to shuffle a bit more on this and see what's going on. Okay, there's a lot more to this story than meets the eye. Actually, I think I'm going to take that one. All right, the Magician. Nice. Oh, I love this. Do I want to take any more? I think that's it. I think that's all I want to take. Okay, so what is going on here? For some of you, this shake-up could be to do with your love life. Could be to do... There might be some arguments. There might, there's something that you have been going through. I'm kind of going to link these in together. Uh, Tower Six of Cups, King of Swords. You're fine. So ultimately that what I see here is that you're gonna come out of this fine again it's a bit of the solution or the whatever it is that you've been going through if you've been going through something tough the solution is creativity it is manifestation and I'm gonna say money because I had no idea I was going to talk about that free trade app that I downloaded so isn't that interesting it would be good for you to manifest your world on your own. Uh, 
you know, let's let's have a let's dig into this a little bit. I'm kind of curious. I just want to know. Okay, oh, that fell out. Right. I don't know what it is. Let's take a look together on camera. Two of Wands. Yeah. Something about you. Again, we had that in Group One. You need to strategize. You need to. There's something you need to rethink or re-strategize or work with here. Interesting, we have a lot of birds above. Hmm, okay, what are you needing to strategize on? Let's take a look at this. This is very interesting, guys. I knew it. I thought it was love. I know. Okay, we got a love thing going on here, guys. Page of Cups in reverse. I want to take just one more. There's some something going on in people's love lives. This might be a specific message for somebody out there. Uh, let's just take one more. I'm being greedy and a bit nosy, quite frankly. Let's just take so love life. Knight of Wands. It's going to come good. Whatever this is. Because this is fire, this is passion, this is the night. And this is fast energy. This is like... And I feel like there's one of the things when the Page of Cups comes, it's like... And it's in reverse. You might be tired of childish things. Um, it could be to do with a past lover as well. We've got the Six of Cups. That can be nostalgia. We've got the King of Swords. This could be a message for a lady who's with a man. You need to re-strategize, rethink. You're tired of childish behavior. And I feel like with your love life, you could do with some movement, some energy, some life, some excitement. I feel like that's what you probably want. Interesting. And we have a female here with the card for the night. Isn't that interesting? And this young lady here is on her own. Do you know, look, if you are going through some tough relationship thing sometimes it really is just good to take time out and be on your own and strategize and plan what it is that you really do want the experiences that we have that don't go so well they really do help us to manifest and bring in the thing that we really do want i think this is a spread that is confirming the fact that you are very beautifully refining what it is that you want and either your current relationship is going to come with you because this is a great card i do like this in love it can be a bit fiery and a bit as well someone being hot and cold this one did i did i mention the thing about this being so like if you're a lady who's dealing with a mat you're, you're tired of games you're tired of childishness you don't want that anymore yeah and if there is some romance you want you want excitement you want to be swept off your feet maybe or maybe if you're a man you want to be sweeping someone off their feet it's very interesting but i feel like you're okay ultimately because you've got some powerhouse cards here and the cards that i'm loving i think are these where you're moving on from the drama and the choppy waters of the past you are moving into calm waters no matter what okay so this is great you're gonna have new income streams for sure you're gonna have new ways of making money you're gonna have exciting new things come up you're gonna learn about you know what if yeah maybe you need to learn about cryptocurrency or this or that or you know try something different or try something new there's newness in your money scene there's you moving on from drama 100 percent there's you strategizing and you are getting very good at, look at this this is a little bit messy here okay <laughs> and you're able to observe that and you're able to go do you know what this is what i want you're looking out to the future you're looking out on the horizon 
you know what it is you want and you're going to manifest it guys this is a great spread and i'm super excited for whatever it is that's going on for you and i think if there is some tower shake up let it happen because it's a good one it's it's going to be the shake up that you need so i'm going to put i'm going to put these three on top because they are great <gasps> guys this has been so much fun thank you so much for tuning into this reading and i look forward to seeing you next time Hi there, group number three. If you chose group number three, then you are in the right place. You might have chosen by number, as in three, or you might have chosen via this beautiful tourmalinated quartz crystal. And I do believe this is the one that helps people go on like trips or something. I don't know. <laughs> Through the astral plane. I, I've done some interesting meditations where... Yeah, anyway, um, <laughs> long story. Let's, let's get into the cards. Okay, so you have got the lovers in reverse. Now, as with any of my readings, take on board what resonates and discard what doesn't. This um, reading, we're looking at Saturnian energy because this is my Saturn deck. This is when I want to see what, what's in the mind of Saturn. I use this one. So we've got the Three of Cups and we've got a kookaburra wanting to laugh. Okay, now that's very appropriate because kookaburra laughs, has this beautiful laughter. Let's see if it'll crop up. Go on. Come on, kookaburra. And this is a very social card. Isn't that interesting? I hope the kookaburra displays its beautiful laughter for you. It's a very Australian bird. Okay, we've got the Four of Swords in reverse. We have got the Hanged Man in reverse as well. I remember you, Group 3. This was a really interesting spread. Uh, we have the Star in reverse. And we have got, oh beautiful, the Queen of Swords upright. Okay, so what I see here is that things are going to be good for you. But I think you've been going through a bit of an interesting time where I think you might, you might have needed rest. You might have needed healing. But, oh, there goes the kookaburra. Can you hear that? Oh, how nice. They're chuckling and there's two of them. Okay, I'm gonna have to drop where I was. I mean, that is this card. That is an audio <laughs> representation of this card. You know, two or three birds chuckling in the forest. They're having a nice time. And that, you, that is gonna manifest for you or you need some of that. You need some light-hearted fun times with friends. I do see that that is going to come for you. But I think where I was with this, where I was talking about, I think that you have needed rest. I think you've needed healing, but I feel like you've been resisting that maybe. Um, this is also in the reverse position here as well. And this is, you know, this, this can be stasis. This can be stillness, but I feel like you've been resisting that. And I feel because there has been some resistance, maybe you've been working too hard. Okay, so maybe there is a need for you to relax a bit because you might be operating out of Queen of Swords mode. You might be wanting to get lots of stuff done. You know, I'll solve it, I'll fix it through the mind. You know, let me write another 10,000 emails or whatever. But it's like, no, put down the emails or put down the, you know, laptop or whatever it is. And maybe you do need to take a bit of rest. But I think because maybe you've been resisting rest... I think the divine has stepped in and they're saying, well, we're not giving you any choice now in the matter. This is, this is when the lovers is upright. This is a card of choice. You have choices here. It's like the divine is saying, I'm sorry, we're taking over now. <laughs> and in the meantime, what you can be doing is you can be being social. That'll be a really nice thing for you. Maybe you need to distract yourself 
for a little while. Uh, and I do get a sense that it's that you need to relax a bit. The Queen of Swords is here, but she's upright. She's happy. This is not a bad card. Oh, there's an ant on this deck. Okay, I'm going to shuffle from here and let's just see what comes through for you guys organically. Let's see. Let's add some color to this story. Oh, far out. Nine of Swords. I shuffled this so well. Okay, let, let's, we've got a little bit of work to do here. Let's have a look what's going on. That's not a bad card, but it's not, it's not ideal. Um, let's see what's happening. Okay, what's this? Okay, Seven of Swords in reverse. That's a good card in reverse. If it was upright, I'd be like, well, that's why we got this going on. But no, that's... So, Nine of Swords, upright. This is something something habitual. Sometimes people see these swords as circling thoughts in the mind. But there's some, there, there is something that's difficult in your life that's bringing you down. Seven of Swords, when it's upright, this is deceit, basically. So... This in the reverse, well, I, I mean, I'm, what I'm getting straight away is that this is a confirmation that you're a good person. You're not doing anything wrong. Unfortunately, you're having to suffer something um, at the moment, quite possibly. Let's take a look. Let's keep digging into this and see what is coming up. Okay, this one wants to pop out. All right, the two of swords in reverse. We are going to keep going. I'm going to keep looking. Because you are in the middle of something. Okay, that kind of jumped. I'm taking it. Ooh. All right, we'll take these two. <laughs> this one was first. Oh, fantastic. Thank you, angels. <laughs> this is good. We want this. And But you have that. That has happened in every, no, get out, that's happened in every reading. Okay, in group one, we had nine of swords in reverse and nine of swords upright. In group two, we had king of swords upright and in the reverse. Now in your spread, we've got star reverse and star upright. Get out. Okay, whatever it is that you're going through, there is healing. Okay, you're going to heal. You're going to heal to newness and I kind of feel like I kind of feel like God's got this one in hand and you, if you could chill out you know um, with friends or distract yourself or do something different that would be a good thing the healing is happening I get the sense you don't need to do much is what I get the sense what have we got here oh fantastic nine of wands okay so this is good I think this is kind of signifying that you're at the end of a big cycle um, whatever this healing thing is that you are dealing with I think it's actually it could be a very long term thing that you've been carrying or dealing with it's something quite big actually and I think it's going to take time let's I want to draw a little bit more just to have a look and see what is going on? <laughs> Let's get to the bottom of this. Okay, six of wands, fantastic. Yep, yep, yep. Beautiful. You are going to come out victorious. But I tell you, you have, you've been going through some stuff. Um, and I'm not necessarily getting a particular... I'm trying to figure out, is this love life? Is this work oh god let me draw one one or two more i just want to see is this love life is this work can i have a little clue about love life or work okay i've got the four of cups in reverse i'm not getting a this is a kind of neutral uh, on that answer on that question is this about love is this about work i don't think this is about any particular area of your life I think this is just to do with you and the fact that you want to be firing on all cylinders you want to be 
You want to be going for it. You want to be winning. You want to be achieving. You don't want to have blockages in your way. You know that this is within reach. You know you can be this. But you're on the brink of some massive healing. Okay. Um, I think the guidance here, group three, is really just hang in there. And a very, very huge cycle is going to close out for you. And if you've got the courage and the bravery to just hand it all over to God, let God heal it. You will heal like new. I'm telling you. Your healing is going to be so, so good. It's going to be so complete and final. You're going to heal and close out a massive cycle. I don't, yeah, I don't see it as being particularly about love or particularly about work. I feel like there's just, there's just something massive that you need to heal and clear out. And you're definitely going to experience this, this six of wands moment, this victory, this feeling of victory, this feeling of, you know what, you never believed in me, but look at me, but look at me now. It's, it's that, you're going to be able to experience that, that feeling that is coming for you. You've manifested it. But it's a big cycle. It's something, we've got the nine of wands here. This is not a, um, this is no small journey <laughs> that you've been on. Okay, so this is something long and big and, yeah. And we are dealing with Saturn. I did say that this is a Saturn check-in. So I think for all of the groups, this is kind of the most Saturnian actually in that you are dealing with something that's quite long-standing and it's massive what you're going to heal. But you manifested this in its upright position here in full color. It's absolutely beautiful. Group three, you're going to do it. You are going to be successful. Keep chipping away. Keep doing the Saturnian thing. The other little piece of Saturnian advice is to keep devoting to your goals one to four hours of work per day. That's it. And I think you can take weekends off. I mean, you're probably, if you're a creative person, you're probably working on the weekend anyway, you're probably coming up with ideas and, and that all counts, you know. Um, so you probably, I'm, I'm like that. On the weekends, I'm always coming up with ideas and stuff and I need to get better at writing things down. That's what I need to do. But group number three, hang in there, okay? You're on the brink of massive healing, massive, massive healing. And it's going to clear out some long-term, long-standing thing that once you're free of that, my God, you're unstoppable, you know? And you're never going to be bored again, <laughs> okay? Like you are never going to be that. Like, look at that. It's in its upright. We're saying goodbye to that. This is you. This is you firing on all cylinders, going for it. You know, they say that thing, uh, you want something done, give it to a busy person. You're going to be that busy person. You're going to be that person who is just unstoppable. This is you. It's coming. That time is coming. So just hang in there. So group number three, thank you so much for tuning in. And I look forward to seeing you next time.